Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So determine if this series will converge or if it will diverge. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, um, because it contains factorial or, or, or exponents, uh, then, then we should think about the ratio test. So here it contains uh, factorial. So, so let's use the, the, uh, the ratio test. So when it comes to the ratio test, we always need to compute this value here. AM plus 1 divided by AN. So AM, AM plus 1, so AM plus 1 would be this whole thing here. And then divided by, uh, divided by, that's the same as multiplying the reciprocal of AM, which would be this. So, uh, so this whole thing here would then become this whole thing here. So now let's, uh, let's try and tidy this up. So, uh, so the first thing we should do is, um, well, as, as n, as, as n, um, as n is always in the realm of from 1 to infinity, um, this will always be positive, this will always be positive, this will always be positive, always positive, making the whole thing always positive. So we can forget about the absolute sign. So that will then give you this. And then now it's, it's just a matter of tidying this up. So tidy this up. So tidy this up. So, uh, so, so, n factorial squared means n factorial times by itself so that would be this that would be this so so for example n time n, let's say n is 3 3 factorial squared means this so so that's that's this thing here and then uh, this thing here is this well n factorial squared gives you this times by this thing here and then um, and then let me think so same idea here so this thing factor n plus one factorial squared means n plus one factorial times by its exact same self. So times by its exact same self. That will then give you this. Well, think about it. This whole thing here will then become will then become this. And by the way, this bit here it will be this times this, this times this. That will then give you this. So that will then take you to here. Uh, that will then take you to um, to here. And then now. Um, now let's let's look at this bit. We've done this in the past to uh, to tidy this thing up. Let's try and understand what's going on here. Let's put something simple into the end. Put the number three into the end. So let's let's just look at this bit here. Looking at this bit here, this thing here. Well, if you put three into the end, that so so two times three will be six. Six plus uh, two will be eight. So so this whole thing here, when n is three, this whole thing here will be eight. So this is like eight factorial. Well, 8 factorial is this thing here. So if, if you look at this here, um, n is 3. So so this is our n here. This is our n here. And then this is our, our 2n. This is our 2n. So um, so breaking this up here would be, would be, uh, so, so if, if this is 2n, this must be 2n plus 1. This, the number 8 here, will be 2n plus 2. So breaking this up, hang on. So um, so breaking this up, it will be it will be this thing here, which will be two uh, n plus two, and then uh, the number seven here is really two n plus one. That's two n plus one, and the rest will be will be two uh, n. So that will be two n factorial. Okay. So so breaking this up, breaking this up here, it will then give you this. So, so let's, uh, let's rewrite it as this thing here. So that's this bit here. And then this thing here is this bit here. And then this thing here is this thing here. And then you've got your n factorial. n factorial. And then, uh, and then, and then break this up as, uh, as this thing here. And then, uh, and then this thing here is this thing here. And then you've got this thing here. That's this thing here. So now tidy this up. So hang on. So tidy this up. Um, n factorial here will cancel out with this n factorial. These two cancel out. n factorial here will cancel out with n factorial here. Um, 2n factorial, that will then cancel out with this. All that's left is this, uh, this, this, and this. So, uh, so what is the limit of this as n heads towards infinity? Really, you, you only need to think about the, uh, the highest power, which would be 4n squared, and the highest power here would be n squared. So as n heads to, towards infinity, the limit of this will be 
will be 4. Okay, so the limit of this will be 4. So, uh, so going back to the very start, hang on, so the limit is 4. Okay, so, so going back to the very beginning, we were trying to determine if this will converge or if this will diverge. We needed, we, 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 want, we wanted to use the ratio test. When it comes to the ratio test, we always want to, to compute this value. Well, we just computed this and it equals, uh, it equals 4. It equals 4. So, uh, so because it's great, 4 is greater than 0, if, if this value here is greater than 0, then this thing will diverge, which it is in our case. This value here is greater than then was it zero or one? Well, anyway, th this thing here will will um will diverge. Okay.